Welcome back yet again gamers. We're continuing on with our coverage of WWE Battlegrounds launch event. And right now we're going to go into some of the game modes. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start over here on the right because everybody basically knows a campaign, you know, when we're going to, I mean, we're still going to discuss it, but still. Uh, a king of the battleground. We're going to start with here. And we're just going to go into the additional part here. Uh, here, you're going to actually compete against other people online. It's it's a King of the Hill type game. And you, you get, you know, for as many times as you beat people, you'll get statistics and rewards. The first one here, you just have to beat somebody one time, and they're going to give you a thousand battle bucks. They give you your selectable characters right here. And, of course, you can bug them down to male, just female, or superstars, high flyers, technician, all-rounders, brawlers, powerhouse. And that's going to be that for them. Uh, you're going to get to use your WWE superstars that you have unlocked in this area. Let's back out of here. Our next online area is going to be tournaments. Under tournaments, this is going to work just like uh, Mortal Kombat tournaments and others have worked in the past. Right now, these first two are unlocked. You can start with this one, Men's Superstar Tournament. Uh, I'm going to explain why these two are locked here momentarily. Men's Superstar Tournament, you can go ahead and enter right off the bat. Uh, the reason why these have locks on them is because they require either 25 coins or 1,000 battle bucks to enter and participate in. And this one requires 25 or 1,000 as well. Uh, again, I've explained that you can get the gold coins out of the uh, either PlayStation or Microsoft Store or I'm sure the Switch Store. I'm not sure how Switch is set up. And then um, you can compete in here by doing the fee. I imagine that the fee goes towards the uh, winnings. Uh, not 100% on that, but that's normally how that kind of thing works in real life. Uh, so that's your other online one. Here's where your created character is going to come into play. Battlegrounds Challenge. We have no created character at the moment, so we can't really do much here. We'll cover that at a later date. Campaign. Uh, campaign, it, it's not what you think. You're not going to take a WWE superstar in a campaign here. What you're going to do is get a chance to pick from seven different created, pre-created superstars to go through a basic story with. I imagine that each one has a different story. And as you progress through the story mode and career mode, you're going to unlock exclusives like exclusive superstars appearances and such like that as you see here it starts off with a story and then it kind of has like a road map we're going to go into new york there's more story there's some matches here of uh, this is a reward area there i'm sure and on and on and on and then, like i said the road map of things you can do taking you to different areas um I'm also going to touch on something else real quick. In this game, you're also going to have skill trees for your characters as well. We're making it not only a fighting style game from my understanding, not your traditional WWE game, but also has some incorporated RPG elements as well by having to build up your characters. Yes, I know they had these in some of the other sportings games where you have to, you know, update and upgrade your character, but I've always felt that these were like laid out like RPGs when you get into skill trees like this. Coming back out, we're going to go ahead and look at our exhibition areas. You can choose from men or women exhibitions. Uh, being, and you enter in here, of course, just like any other one, you can have one-on-one -on -one tag team, steel cage, one versus one, steel cage, two versus two, fatal four-way, triple threat, gauntlet matches, royal rumble, and tag team. Again, I want to touch that every game mode you have an opportunity to be rewarded with battle bucks to use in the store, which helps you unlock things. Again, I, I like the fact that it's not entirely microtransacted. Uh, men's exhibition is going to be a lot of the same right here. 
I suggest if you don't want to tackle career right away, that this would be a good place for you to go initially to kind of get the feel of the game and kind of learn the ropes a little bit. Because usually exhibitions don't necessarily count towards your overall stats or anything else like that. Alright, so that's going to do it for the game mode overview. When we come back, we are going to go ahead and take a look at the create a character area. Uh, thank you all for being patient with me. Any couple more, and then we're actually going to get into some of the gameplay. Until then, I'll see you in this view.